Hi Fire Signs, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising and those of you that are cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see whether this is a twin flame or a soul based type of a connection. Um, so we want to see whether your romantic energy here is a twin flame or there a soulmate here. Okay, and you know, what is the purpose or the future for this connection? This is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and connect. I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is. All right, guys, let's go ahead and let's give the cards a shuffle and let's begin. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, the message that I have for you is don't give up here. Do not give up on them. Do not give up on this connection, okay? Um, don't give up on your journey together as well. Bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Swords. You guys are going through some things. You may be going through a breakup, a separation. You may be going through a lot of conflict. A lot of conflict or tension in your energies here. Okay, below that you have the Six of Cups here. Don't wave a red flag, don't wave a flag of surrender, not just yet, because I feel like you guys have been through a lot and this person has been a very strong, has been your anchor, they've been a very strong emotional support. This is, despite, you know, the ones here appearing, I feel like this feels more like a soul-based type of love. This is someone whom I feel like you have a soul contract with, okay, you have a soul partner um, in this person and that's why I feel like, you know, Try and give each other the space, especially when things are very intense um, or when you guys are arguing or disagreeing or you're just not, you know, seeing eye to eye on some things. Try and give each other space. It's about taking a step back and trying not to give in to this tension or this intensity here because I do feel like this is someone who cares for you. I do feel like this is someone who's very emotionally invested and they want to see, they want the best for you. They want you, they want you, um... They want to see you succeed, okay? They want to see you succeed. They want happiness for you. They want, um, you know, a divine love for you, even if it means that they'll have to, you know, sacrifice themselves in the process here. I do see a soul contract. The six of, you know, you've got the six of cups here. You've got the ten of cups here. I feel like this is, um, I feel like there's a lot of, a very strong soul energy. So this is could be a, you know, it feels like a soulmate. This is someone whom you have a soul contract with. This could also it might have it has the makings of a past life connection as well this is someone whom you were possibly romantically involved with in a previous lifetime okay and the two of you have yet again found each other in this lifetime to spend you know more time with one another here it, it's been an up uh, an uphill battle right you guys have been through a lot and you guys are still going through a lot but I feel like this person has always been by your side and I feel like if you kind of you know if you take a step back not give up not surrender but it's all about just taking a step back from this conflict and from this tension and not giving up on this journey not giving up on them not giving up on what the two of you have built okay um, it's they're here to help you on this journey they are they're here to help you. I feel like there's a lot. 
some of you are, it's almost like I feel like you're trying to do this on your own or you feel like there's something here that you have to do on your own here you don't you don't have to do this on your own um, I feel like they're here um, they're here for you your person is here for you they're here to um, join you on your journey They are contributing to some of your wounds or they have in the past, but I also feel like this is something that's kind of transformed you here. And look, I feel like the two of you, whatever it is that you've been through lately has definitely, you know, transformed you and there's been a lot of growth and transformation to come from that. A soul connection is when two people are linked on a soul level. You guys just get each other. You guys just feel so familiar to one another. You you feel like home to one another. It, it's it's an energy that transcends space, that transcends time here. It's um you know and it's it feels like something bigger than yourselves have brought you together. Okay. Um soulmate sometimes the word itself you know it is thrown around very loosely here. Okay, sometimes I feel like it, it's a bit it can be a bit um said too loosely but I feel like what the two of you have is on a soul level it's a soulmate type of love it's a divine type of love and some of you I feel like you know your best friends um or your you know you have a business together you're raising children together here this is a soul partner. This is someone who has been there for you and will continue to be there for you. I also feel like there's something here that they're helping you with some... Um, soul partners are designed to help you um, emotionally support you or to help you through this life in an emotional type of way here. Okay, And this isn't something that you can do alone. So this is why you need this person. So And they want to be there for you. They want to help you. So why are you pushing them away here? Because um, I feel like some of you, you know, you have certain fears, insecurities, certain anxieties here in your energy. And that's kind of leaving you immobilized. And you're scared here. I feel like you're scared to make a move here. I feel like you, you're tied to this person here. The two of you are tied to one another for a reason here. And this person is definitely here to help you heal some of your wounds. Release some emotional baggage. Okay. Um, right some wrongs here is to help you step outside of your comfort zone so that you could grow and evolve here. Some of you, you know, you've never felt this type of way before, right? You're just drawn to each other. The chemistry is off the charts. The two of you are just drawn and connected to one another. The reason why, because this is the type of energy that has being built up gradually over years, over lifetimes here, okay? This is why you feel this soul recognition in one another because you have known each other from a previous life here. And the two of you have, you know, your souls here have decided and have agreed to reincarnate here and to navigate and gravitate back towards one another. You have this soul contract that you're binded to and you have to fulfill here. So, you know, it does feel intense but I feel like the two of you are meant to be here. Look, some of you are meant to be together romantically. Some are meant to be together as friends here, okay, or as business partners. But your souls are tied to one another, okay? I don't think this person is going anywhere, and I feel like this person is here to help you on your journey, whatever it is. So don't push them away, because they're here to stay, guys. All right, and these are your messages. Thank you guys for watching and listening. Appreciate your support by liking, sharing and subscribing. Thanks.